you may wipe a butt once yeah, in your life. You true. may have to. <laughs> you give, may. You may <laughs> have to give a rectal core temp. I was the technician. I was a pharmacy tech that walked in the, like. Hold his penis, gave me the little... Yeah, <laughs> make sure it goes into the cup. You gotta realize that as a medical personnel, regardless if you're working hands-on with a mm -hmm. patient, you gotta care for that person. Yeah. That's the main thing. Every job in the military is important, re regardless if you're working in a kitchen, if you're working with, especially with like, uh, on a flight deck. Right, yeah. People, aircraft. Yeah, it's like really, life, life is at stake. Archie, we're on the Archie channel. We're on the Archie channel. This though. is the we're cross Archie pollinating. Channel. We're cross pollinating. I'm getting spit everywhere. But what is happening, guys? Arch is here, and welcome to another video. Archie's hope you guys are having a great day today. We got Nikki. What's up, guys? And of course, Mr. JT Suits over there. Don't forget about me. <laughs> He's still in it. I need a, I need attention. <laughs> hey, no, we should all do his intro. Oh, go ahead. No, you do it again, cause it's one, two, three. What is happening, guys? Arch Chisel here, and welcome to another video. Archies, hope you guys are having a great, great day. In today's video, you hit it. Had it. You hit it. <laughs> you said great, great day, and I'm like, I hope you're having a great day. You changed it. He <laughs> added another great. <laughs> Archie, yeah. you're mixing it up. You gotta start here, man. but the next one has to be higher. You know what I mean? Right. Like just amping up a little bit more. That was but, a good one. But for today's video, we're gonna be comparing being an army medic versus a corpsman. Navy. Navy Corman. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. You guys heard my piece about being an being an army medic. I got a few videos on my channel, but today I want to highlight someone else. Our yeah. boy Nikki. Nikki right here. So we're just gonna do comparison, you know, daily lifestyle or like what we go through for schools and all that. And of course we got JT over there because he dealt with I dealt with Corman. Corman and I'm the Lone Ranger. I just wanna give my piece real quick because I'm probably just gonna be listening. <laughs> I'm not a corpsman, I already know. I worked on helicopters. Yep. But I did have a corpsman in my squadron that worked with us. So I only I knew him as uh, basically they had to make sure that I got my physical done yep. and that I was up to date on my shots. They, the the corpsmen would just bother me, man. They're like, miners, get your, your shit med done. Pros. Miners, get your med get pros your shit done. I'm like, all right, I'm working here. You need here. this immunization, <laughs> that immunization. You have to go to dental. But I don't know. I know army medic. Obviously, people know there's a difference between army medic and Navy corpsman. Yeah. But I, I would think if just not knowing, I'm like, oh, they, they sound similar. But is it really as similar as it seems, I guess? A little bit different. This is perfect because yeah. there's a lot yeah. of viewers that follow and watch me and actually met me in real life because of recruiting. Right. Yeah. Asking me, like, how is it being a medic compared to being a corpsman? So right. this is the video for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So. so I guess let me let me ask you this. The only thing with the Army that I'm guaranteed 100% sure is that before you even go to MEPS, you're guaranteed a slot as a medic. Yeah. How is it? How difficult is it to get a corpsman job? So that's actually a, I get asked that all the time. How can I guarantee to be corpsman? There's no guarantee, obviously. It's like it's uh -huh. all time and manning. But okay. it, it people say this all the time. Like it's overmanned. But we are the largest job in the Navy. So yeah, we could be overmanned and there's less spots. But there's also since there's more positions, you have a more likelihood of getting think, corpsman. Do you think that's unfortunate? Like. There could be a really good potential corpsman that wants to do that, yeah. but is going to be denied because of the manning. Is that kind of like, that's kind of just bad timing. That's just bad luck kind yeah. of for that yeah. person. And that, but that's what I tell people. I'm like, if you are 100% set on being a corpsman, like, wait. Like, you if, if wait. you're not financially, like, in a need to, like, be need out of your, set. yeah, yeah, then just wait. I mean, it sucks, but it's like, if that's what it means to you, like, if being a corpsman is the one thing you want to do in life, mm -hmm. like, it's you more don't have to, so, You so, don't have to get yeah. that job at MEPS. When yeah. do you, so, yeah. okay, so when do you actually get to pick a job in the Navy? So you pick when you are actually at MEPS. You're guaranteed that okay. job. You can even be, so we call that A school, your A school. And then you can be guaranteed a C school. So, mm -hmm. for a certain, were you offered a C school? I was guaranteed an A school, and then, I was offered a C school and I got to do it. Yeah. It wasn't guaranteed though. C school wasn't guaranteed. Some, a school so was. Some so, C schools can't be guaranteed. Okay. A school, by the way, is AIT for the Army. But yeah. C school, is that like a second phase? It's a secondary school. So, for example, like if you're going to be a corpsman, all the reservists when I joined were all guaranteed field medical training battalion to go work with the Marines. That was part of their contract. So they knew after A school they were going to go there afterwards. Oh, or okay, you our, know what unit you're going to. Not what? unit, you would know that you would go to that secondary school. Okay. And then the other thing that corpsmen do is we do dental technicians. So before there were two different jobs, corpsmen and dental. Mm -hmm. 2006, they became one rate. Mm -hmm. And what oh. happened is now you go to core school, A school, 
and San Antonio with you guys, mm -hmm. and then you do a month, I think it's a month or two, of uh, dental technician school. Okay. I didn't know that. that. Yeah. I didn't know Army and Navy, you guys all go to gym. Yeah, everyone but, goes to Fort Sam. But they're not, from what I was told, they're not, like, Army, Navy, and Air Force all still don't talk well. So that's, that's kind of the issue right now, is we're still trying to figure yeah. out how to get each service's requirements yeah. together. So mm -hmm. we're working towards it. It's just a matter of time. So you get trained as a dental uh, specialist. Because in the Army, we have two, that's separate MOSs right there. Being a medic says so six-day whiskey, straight up whiskey, oh. yeah. and uh, six-day echo, which is dental specialist. So with corpsman, you're a corpsman. So we say this, you're a sailor first, corpsman second, tech third. Damn. So if you're a corpsman. Archie's like, oh, shit. Let me oh, my, blow. <laughs> my mind's blown. No, that's uh, actually good because you guys are more cross-trained now. Yes. Okay. So that means that even though I was a pharmacy tech, I could go as a corpsman to be with mm -hmm. the Marines. Not likely, but in a time of like a war situation or whatever, I would, they'd be like, okay, you're going to go okay. with that. Right. So Nikki here, he could be like working as a pharmacy tech right now. Yeah. And literally, if something happened in Syria, yeah, they'd be like, dang, we need Manning right now. All right, Nikki, you're going greenside. Yeah, that's oh it. That's that, it. That's, 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 see ya. It's not the end of the video yet. No. So, <laughs> that's, that's your cue. That's your cue. Yeah. That, that's kind of similar with the Army, but we don't really go in any other formal training. Yeah. Like, I have 60 whiskeys buddies. Some of them are NCO, some of them are still E4 and below, or at least E4, I guess. Yeah. They get assigned to be working at the, the pharmacist uh, office, or uh, at least PT, physical therapy. Like, yeah. you can't end up anywhere and just cross train there. Mm -hmm. But nothing formal training, like you have to go to dental uh, specialist or at least a thing. Yeah. Every technical field in the Navy, you have to, to go to a school. Yeah. For the most, I mean, there's times where we do have, for example, in the physical therapy area, we had one person that was just there, like regular corpsman that they learned on the job. But the benefit of going to school is I got nationally certified. Okay. So that was the benefit of going there. And then also you get the actual formal training so that way you're not like behind the curve. Because you can learn stuff on the job, but that's depending on like the platform. If you're gonna work at with the Marines, or I mean, it, it changes every time. Mm -hmm. So how about like getting assigned to your first duty station? Because I'm kind of confused about that still. Yeah. I guess I have really short attention span. But because <laughs> like as a corpsman, I, I heard something about green side and blue side. All right. So this is also where my viewers are always like, so if I'm green side, am I always green side? And if I'm blue side, am I always blue side? No. It's the same. All orders are like this. They have an end. They, they have an end to it. Can, can so, you explain it to them what's green side and blue side? So way? green side just means you're with the Marines. Blue side is hospital or ships. But no one ever includes Kind of like, like my boy Donnie. Yeah. Donnie boy. Donnie's coming <laughs> on over. Okay, now it. it makes sense. Okay. No, but the, the thing about it is, so just because you were with the Marines doesn't mean you can't go to a ship at another point in your time, in like in your career. When I first joined in 2008, that was a Sigma was like, if you'd ever been with the Marines, you're never leaving the Marines. But now that like the war time is, yeah, okay. it, it's changed that's, that's a lot. A so. so so for the Army, uh, it's the same thing. You go to boot basic training, I'm sorry, we don't do boot camp. Basic training, AIT, straight up six day whiskey school. Whiskey school for us is four months. Yeah. First two months, we get our NREMT, which is basically okay. EMT basic. But I know to be an EMT in the civilian side, that takes about like almost 12 months, depending on what school yeah. you go to. Uh, hold on. Are you required to get NREMT? You don't really have to get NREMT to be a medic because they'll train it at school. But yeah. if you have that and you sign up as a medic in the army, you'll fast track and go to the second phase right away, which is whiskey phase which is more combat related being okay. line medic more. yeah, yeah. Um, and then going back uh, from the stuff that we talked about earlier for the army you can actually guarantee a six day whiskey a medic slot before yeah. you even go to MEP so you take the ASVAB and then at the recruiter's office you'll sit down with us and show you okay you qualify for this job and they will reserve that for seven days and then you go to MEPS and do your physicals mm -hmm. just to make sure that you qualify for that job your oh. pull he's must be like that, the that's different than us. You have to be medically cleared before you get the job oh, okay. for us. See, I, I guess that's, you know, every yeah. field, uh, branch no, is different. So you said the second part of school, you guys are learning tactical field yeah, care. Yeah, tactical field care. For yeah. us, you do four months. They now offer the EMT certification to be done. Not required. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go be like a line corpsman on the combat related, you have to go to Field Medical Training Battalion to be, like you learn to be a Marine. So everything, you do humps, 
You do like all the teachable C's, combat care. See, that's the good thing about being a medic or a corps mate. For us, if you get attached to like an artillery unit or infantry unit, you're yeah. gonna do their stuff. Yeah. So we're like really flexible. Right. Yeah. If I feel like if I was like a depper, if somebody wanted to join, yeah. And I have like this vision. All right, I want to be a corps mate. Yeah. And I want to do this exactly. Like people, know, people have to understand that that you're not guaranteed anything. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The only <laughs> thing you're guaranteed is that okay, you are a corpsman. But after yeah, that but though, like, do it's you good have that you any, brought that up? It's do you good. have any like direction in your like you know if like, like you really wanted do. to do like yeah. this part of being a corpsman? Like if you really want it, can you get that or is it just like? It, that's neat? really good that you brought that you up because I've been talking to recruits also. They want to be medic. You don't really know what unit you're gonna go to. You could end up in a hospital, in a clinic, yeah. in the line. But you won't know anything until you get your orders after AIT. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and that's just how it is. Like we yeah. literally it's, cannot tell you. Yeah, but it doesn't you mean that know. let's say you sign up for four years. All four years are gonna be in the hospital. It happens to some and for some people all four years will happen in in, yeah. in the line. So it really depends on your experience. It will vary, but you can put a request to PCS somewhere. That's right. Yeah. That's just how it is. That's... Make the most out of it. If you end up in the line, have fun because there, there's gonna be a time that you're not gonna be go going back to the line. Yeah, I like the line and, personally. But but right. the issue is, it sounds like you guys are flexible like us, where we have people that are corpsmen that are gonna be flexible. Like we have people that are corpsmen that do admin work. Like, oh, okay. Like so, you could be doing like medical records, for example. Uh, and then you have a corpsman that could be on well, medical work. records. Yeah, That's and it's, oh yeah, it's not desirable, but for some people, some people the actually don't. Guy. Yeah, as a junior corpsman, right. so as a junior corpsman, so you can like pretty much guarantee. You're gonna be doing some the bitch Corman work, oh, which yeah. would be pulling but, medical records, uh, screening, you know, like it. intake. Yeah, so like intake for sick call. You guys call it sick call? Yeah, we do yeah, sick so call. So sick call, you take in patients. How are you feeling? You, the, and it's, <laughs> sick the, call slips. And, and it's the Corman like gun deck and like, yeah, he's got 16 respirations. And like, did you really count he's those? He's good. He's good. Did you count them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, we joke about that, but they, everyone should be doing it right. But it's right, like definitely. it's one of those things where you, you're gonna do some bad jobs. For example, like Any, if you're on, anything. But if you're on the ward, yeah, you may wipe a butt once yeah, in your life. You may have to. <laughs> you give, may. You, you may, may have to give a rectal core temp. You I'm may have. I'm gonna put that in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I'm. I'm you may have to wipe a butt. Then arches will. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I mean, you may have to give a rectal suppository. These are all things that it's are like that, real, yeah. man. It, it's not. But like when people are like, that's gross. But I'm like, when you're in the job, it's a totally mm -hmm. different like. Right. Like when you have a guy crashing on you and, and he says he needs a pee and he's like, he's telling you that real story here. He was like, I need to pee and he's freaking out right. and he's having cardiac issues and they're like, hold it. Like I I was the technician. I was a pharmacy tech that walked in like. like Hold his penis, gave me the little. Yeah, the and it sure goes into the cup. Yeah, the, and that was it. The like pan. that was, was like, ah. Yeah, you're like and tweezers. Then, <laughs> no, and then it was, it was. If, a, if you're in the medical day. field or any medical field, even like kitchen, if, yeah. if it's not even a nurse, a medic, or whatever, you gotta expect those things. The dirty jobs. And, yeah. and it's it's about like manning up and just being like, dude, yeah. it. Think about it if you're like 70, 80 years old and you have yeah. to pee and you're having cardiac issues and. Everything's going I on need around you. To hold it, man. Yeah, I guess, man. I guess my best advice, if you want to be in the medical field and taking care of people, I know a lot of people want to become a nurse because of the money. Let's be honest. Yeah. That, that's legit. That's true. But you got to realize that as a medical personnel, regardless if you're working hands-on with a mm. patient, you got to care for that person. Yeah. That's the main thing. There, there's some real compassion. Are, and, 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 and you, you have to have that compassion, yeah. right? If Sometimes, are there people that... Is there a lot of people you come across that don't have that? The yeah, hit? and they just do it for the money, or yeah. at least. And that's the worst. Don't really want what they're right, that's bad. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's like if you're working in the service industry as a civilian, yeah. and you hate people. And you don't smile. You're just right. like, Here's every, your food. Every job. Right. Every job in the military is important, Re regardless if you're working in a kitchen, if you're working with, especially with like uh, on a flight deck. Right. Yeah. People, with aircraft. Yeah. It's like really life. Life is at stake. Right. Yeah. The medical field is the same thing. Right. Life. Yeah. So we can kind of compare that yeah. mentality. You have a life in your hands, mm -hmm. literally. Yeah. I have the pilot's life in my yeah. hands. Yeah. If I don't do this maintenance right, or torque check this bolt. Or make sure the area is spot free and secure. The pilots, that's my 
But but the satisfaction you, know? you get from that is you see the bird go up. Yeah, and when right? it comes back. Right. Just like when we see a patient that went off and then and they're, they're like, yeah. well, I've had patients like, oh, you treat me so well, blah blah blah, and then I see them again, and I'm like, oh, I'm glad he, he you're keeps doing going well. back to you. Yeah, yeah, and then they trust you. I think that's like the key to thing. get that trust. Yeah. yeah. When you earn that patient, uh, what is it? Patient doc, not relationship. Patient relationship. Right, and it's kind yeah. of same thing when I. When you earn that relationship with the pilots, yeah. for me with the squadron, it's like good. It's like all right, they trust me. Like they know miners is signing off that bird. Yeah, it's like all right, it, I trust him. Like I know it, it's it brings good back to, go. to like you, you. don't mess with the medics. You don't mess with the cooks. You don't mess with the supply people. <laughs> the bottom, yeah, because yeah. they'll mess your shit <laughs> up. Mess you up. They'll mess your right. shit up. Yeah. So I guess we'll wrap up this video. More collaborations really coming up really soon. Yeah. Once again, final words. Final words, man. From from me. I love, man, I love my docs, the baby docs, the docs. Yeah. Just, uh... I like to say I love my AMs, but you're like the only AM I you're know. You're the only AM, man. Yeah. Hey, just Sorry, like, dude. Give me some more of that motion, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all. The, the thing with Corman you hear a lot is you'll go to sit call, and they'll just say, here's some Motrin. Motrin yeah. water. Even if your arm's hanging off, off the land, yeah. like, here's we, some Motrin. That, that's a joke. That's but, just a bad, yeah. But the, the, the issue easy. is, yeah, people... It's the people that, that, that don't care if they're in that job, or it's yeah. the people that malinger. That and it just sets a bad in. precedence. Yeah, yeah. and what people ends up happening it. with the malingering is the people that aren't actually sick are the ones that are going to take up more time trying to figure out the what the isn't are. wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just want so it takes away time. They just don't want to run in the morning. They just yeah. want to skip PT. Skip that PT. Yeah. yeah. Final words, Nick? Uh, thanks for having me on, Arch. Oh, yeah. Hey, Papa Arch, man. Definitely, man. Three-way. Three-way. Right here, three-way. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> like, like, oh, I'm like, outnumbered. Nice, two dude. Navy guys and, you know, one Army guy. Yeah. But, uh, you can I can take it. Yeah. That's coming from the so. wifey over there. Oh. But, yeah, thanks again for watching the video, guys. Make Army sure strong. you subscribe. Army, Army strong. strong. Make sure you subscribe to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hit that bell icon to be part of the notification squad. Yeah. That's it for today, and I do the salute every time I end the video. Our chisel out. Good boy!